Now for this part, we're told that we've got a line L which passes through the points A and B. And we've got to find a vector equation for this line L. And you'll notice I've updated the diagram with the vector A to B, which we found in the previous part, 3i plus 3j plus 5k. Now to find the vector equation for uh, the line L, we just need to think of the position vector, how we're going to get the position vector of any point on the line. And we generally call this R. So R could be this point here, it could be so many points, okay, an infinite number of points down this line. Now I'm assuming that you're familiar with finding vector equations of lines, if not, just go on my website, there's tutorials on that, okay? If you look under vectors, the vector equation for straight line. But essentially, what we've got is R equals, and you go up to a point on the line, and it could be, say, O to A. And then you go a certain amount, okay? We'll call it lambda. You can use any letter you like. Lambda in the direction of the line, okay? So you take a vector that is parallel to the line. And the most obvious vector to take is the vector A to B. So we need to fill this in with values, which I'll do in a moment. But it did say find a vector equation for the line. So there's another one that you could pick, for instance. You could pick, say, R equals, and choose O to B as your vector for a point on the line. And then you've got to go a certain amount, we'll call it mu this time, in the direction of a vector parallel to the line, and we can take AB again. So we could now just fill in our values here. And if we had O to A, it's going to be 2 minus 1, 5, 2 minus 1, 5, and then plus lambda in the direction a to b, which would be 3, 3, 5. And you could leave it like that. You could either change it to i's, j's, and k's. And you could even group the values together, something like this. 2 plus 3 lambda in the i direction, followed by, say, 3 lambda minus 1, 3 lambda minus 1, in the j direction, followed by 5 plus 5 lambda in the k direction. 5 plus 5 lambda in the k direction. It's up to you, but essentially that's a vector equation for any point on the line L. And if you're using this one, okay, similarly you could go from O to B then, which would be 5 to 10, 5 to 10, followed by any amount in the direction A to B, which would be 3, 3, 5. So it's up to you. You can use any of these versions. You could even use B to A. It doesn't matter, as long as your vector here is parallel to the line. And whilst we're here, just in case you're still unsure about vector equations of lines, I can just demonstrate that to get to this point, for instance, if we were using this version of the line, lambda would be most probably about two and a bit. I'll show you, because if we take the vector a to b, we can go from o to a, and then say two lots of this vector, one there, and two lots would take us to this point here. Two and a bit would take us to this value here. Let's put that back like that. Whereas if we were taking this equation, mu to get to this point here, well, we, we go from O to B, and then we don't do just one of these vectors. We do about one and a quarter, maybe one and a third of these vectors to get to that point there. Okay, so hopefully that just gives you a reminder of how this works. All right.